wabarakatuh and good day. My name is Harut Effendi bin Abdul Maulud and I am representing my colleagues and co-authors to present our study on effects of curing accelerators on cure characteristics of uncalcined thin dioxide reinforced DPNR nanocomposites. And thank you very much for to International Innovative Research and the Industrial Dialogue 2022 for giving me this opportunity. So the outline of my presentation, I will start with the introduction, then problem statement, methodology, results and discussion, conclusions and references and finally acknowledgements. So uh, natural rubber has been used extensively as electrical insulator since 1930s, though it can be susceptible to ozone damage and degradation. Different blends and different filler sizes have been studied that can improve both mechanical and electrical properties. Introducing semiconductor fillers improve properties such as silicon dioxide and tin dioxide uh, and lesser studies that add tin dioxide. So there have been a few studies that incorporated uh, tin dioxide into natural rubber for electrical intuition, but lesser studies have on curing accelerators effect. And the two accelerators that we chose to study is one is MBTS, which is 2,2-D-Theobis-Benzothiazole, uh, and the second is CBS, which is n 2 benzothiazole sulfonamide And uh, the compound, our compound is, <clears throat> is cured using this, these two different curing uh, accelerator system through uh, and prepared using a milk compounding process using an internal mixer and uh, after it's been compounded uh, some of the some of the specimen is uh, is before uh, that does that doesn't go through hot press is uh, sent through the uh, rheometer uh, as a rotorless oscillating uh, rheometer to uh, to study its uh, low, uh, minimum torque maximum torque uh, and also its um, maximum curing time and also scotch time. And some of the uh, compounded uh, specimen is then hot pressed at 150 degrees centigrade for five, uh, for, uh, with uh, 150 kilogram force. And then after that, when we got the samples, then we want to uh, FTR to support our analysis. So from this first figure, it shows that um, the effect of MBTS and CBS accelerator on the cure characteristics of DPNR tin dioxide nanocomposites. It shows that MBTS cure faster than uh, the CBS system. And bo but both system trends are similar when tin dioxide nanoparticles are added. It shows that as increased tin dioxide loadings, the T20, uh, the scotch time and also the maximum cure time uh, is delayed. So the, it's, uh, it if it is function as a cure uh, as to cure delay and also when we uh, undergone the rheometer uh, study it shows that as increased uh, tin dioxide loading it shows a pattern which uh, decreased the maximum torque and also uh, minimum torque this shows that the tin dioxide can uh, filler can act as a plasticizer Though if we look at uh, the same uh, loading of tin dioxide, the MBTS curing system is much uh, viscous with its higher torque value compared to the CBS system. So tin dioxide nanoparticles can play an important role in delaying curing and lowering the milk, milk, milk viscosity and is consistent with both uh, compound and, electric, uh, and accelerator system. For FTIR, results. It shows that un uncalcined tin dioxide nanoparticles altered the molecular makeup of the DPNR matrix as an uh, as an, uh, tin oxygen and tin and also tin uh, hydroxide stretching modes were assigned to the 550 to 650 over centimeter over bands and significant bands at 2922 2841 and 1400 over centimeter on uncalcined tin dioxide surfaces were attributed to carbon hydrogen stretching and bending vibrations. So the curing of the PNR was, was investigated con uh, concerning different accelerated systems and also different uh, tin dioxide uh, loading. So the, the, the CBS cured nanocomposite performed better 
to the MBTI secure system in terms of the process safety and flow. So tin dioxide played a similar role in both compounds acting as a plasticizer and curing retarder in the reinforced DPNR nanocomposites. And these are the selected references that we use for our uh, paper submitted. And we would like to acknowledge uh, Tin Industry R&D Board, Kementerian Air Tanah and Sumber Asli Malaysia, and also for uh, Unitam Malaysia to provide with the grant and also facilities and assistance. So thank you very much and have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.